In this example, we will demonstrate how to create a model of a street lighting network. Street lighting model consists of blocks that simulate street lighting units, distribution panel boards and transformers. Cables are simulated by lightweight polylines between blocks. All street lighting unit blocks must be located on the work layer MTR Calc SL units. Polylines, blocks of transformers and blocks of distribution panel boards must be located on the work layer MTR Calc SL model. Let's create street lighting model. You can quickly insert single blocks by using insert blocks command. You can also use AutoCAD commands to insert blocks and to draw polylines, but using MeteorCal commands all objects, blocks and polylines will be placed on the correct layers. You can copy and move all blocks and polylines of street lighting model by using standard AutoCAD tools. If street lighting model is located directly in a project file, Blocks of street lighting units are the part of street lighting model and in the same time the part of the street lighting plan. Distribution panel boards and transformers are modeled by special blocks. When all the blocks are in place, we can start to draw polylines. We use draw polyline command to simulate the power supply cable from a substation and to draw the rest of the cable sections in the feeder. First, you need to select the start block, then you may specify any number of intermediate points, and finally you need to specify a point near the end block. Joining with the end block will happen automatically. The rules of drawing a street lighting model are very simple. The first cable of street lighting feeder should begin from a distribution panel board. Each feeder should have a tree-shaped structure with any number of branch lines. The degree of branching is not limited. A length of model polyline will be used as a length of cable track on the plan. The total length of each cable span is calculated as the length of a polyline plus the additional length set by user. This is how street lighting model looks before data assignment. MeteorCalc provides many possibilities for quick data assignment to objects of a street lighting model. You can use feeder objects data command to assign data for all objects in a feeder. In this example, we will demonstrate how to use object data and copy data commands to assign data to the objects. Let's define one street lighting unit and one cable. We use copy data command to assign data to several objects of the model. Let's assign same data to all street lighting units and to all cables. For better readability of the model, cables of street lighting feeders can be painted in different colors. Now we will demonstrate how to change the structure of street lighting model. It's very simple. You can copy any part of feeder and then connect it to any other feeders. You can choose any connection point. You can also use any AutoCAD commands to copy entities inside the DWG file. Copy-paste commands can be used to copy objects between files. If object has assigned data then all data will be copied to the new object 
regardless of which coping method was used. You can temporarily disconnect a feeder from a board or a branch line from a feeder. You just need to move the polyline away from corresponding block so the distance between the end point of polyline and the insertion point of the block is more than 1 meter. After the change of model structure, we need to renumber street lighting units in the feeder and, if necessary, distribute them by phases. Use feeder numbering command to do it. This is how street lighting model looks after data assignment. Thank you and have a good work with MeteorCalc.